Oh, a frog. I can't pick up the frog, though. Hey, guys. Whoop. Uh, there is a grenade somewhere. I lost track of it. Let's just... It's probably over there somewhere. Beep. Boop. Boop. Beep. How... Howdy, guys. Have I just got to beat you guys up until you leave? I mean, I'm okay with that, but, uh... I mean, is this like a village tradition you got going on here? You see a visitor, gotta give him shit. I get that. Gabriel's got this whole, like, rule of cool thing going on with the daggers, and I'm super happy about that. Are you gonna show us what happens if you step in the bog? Ah, dear. You got bogged on. Bummer. Now, was it bubbles or was it walking? I forget. We'll work it out. Is there anything over here that we need to investigate? No. I'm gonna have a quick nosy around. The camera's static, by the way, for the most part, so... I think when the bubbles are there, it means the creature's around, isn't it? So... Or maybe not. Maybe we gotta wait for the thing to disappear and... Oh no, there's bubbles. I guess we just wait until that disappears. There we go. Yo, Gabe, anytime you're ready, dude. D take this as slow as you like, really. I've got no problem with that. Oop. Oh, we got a new beastery. Should we, should we have a read? Should we have a read? Beastery, beastery, beastery. Monsters. Have we not checked out the wargs? I thought we did the wargs. Oh, the wargs just not... Little is known about these fierce wolf-like beasts, except they appeared soon after the coming of the lycanthrope Dark Lord... Despite their wild looks, wargs are fairly intelligent creatures capable of being tamed by lesser lycanthropes, who ride them in battle. Wargs are ferocious creatures that attack opponents with deadly, razor-sharp claws and sharp, deadly teeth. Goblins! These diminutive, mischievous and crabby creatures usually avoid contact with humans. Goblins make their homes around tree roots and mossy, damp areas and like to hunt in packs. Although they can be aggressive when threatened, goblins usually prefer to keep far away from men in their dwellings. Goblins are a species on the verge of extinction, and before too long they will pass into history and then myth. Naiad. A large part of the danger of the swamps lies in the hands of these creatures known as naiads, or naiads. These living things are usually passive, lying inconspicuously on riverbeds and in muddy, damp places, waiting until someone stumbles within range. When they attack, their unfortunate victims usually mistake their limbs for branches and are soon drowned and eaten. In days gone by, these once beautiful creatures were worshipped and sacrifices were made to them, but now they are forgotten by humans and become evil predators. Oops, I skipped the last bit, sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Both wandering man and beast alike. Cool. Am I being followed? I think I'm being followed. How rude. Uh, well, there's clearly a thing over that way, but also, you know, swamp, swamp goo. So let's uh, see what's up here first, shall we? I'm kind of curious. We could probably make our way round. The only problem is when you've got multiple paths and you pick the wrong one, you don't get the goodies, and that makes me very upset. Right, we'll just wait for that uh, to disappear, and then we can just carry on. Whoop. There we go. Oh, I hear spooky whispering. My favourite kind of whispering. I mean, let's be honest, non-spooky whispering just isn't worth the effort. Aha! Dead people. Oh no! Goblins! It's alright guys, you can't stop me, I was looting. Check this out guys. Whoop 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 whoop! Smash! Oh. I mean, nice try boys, nice try. We still got the spooky music. Am I, am I, am I supposed to be still slaying some goblins? No, well, whatever. What do we have here? This is the other path. Should we have a nose? Oops. Let's. Do I spy any lootables? No. I probably should go round, but I can always go, I can always re-enter the level afterwards and check. I suppose. Gobos. Hey, let me do the area of effect. Goblin. Goblin massacring here. Whoop. Oh, those daggers are absurd. I like them. Nothing quite like a holy dagger to absolutely ruin the day of any living creature that is well not appreciative of them. I suppose. Give me daggers, please. Thank you. Downwards. 
Checking for any tricksy corpses that might be hiding from me. Oh, can we just beat the goblin up instead? Oh, nice. I can just pick up the grenade and then throw it. I will. Thank you. I already did this bit, though, uh, tutorial, but I appreciate the effort. Oh, I see. Plot importance. We might need to do this a couple of times, then. Excuse me, goblins. I need I need your low-tech grenade skills, please. Hello. All right, dude. No, nope, come here. Let me, uh, let me... Oh, there's another grenade here. Yes. Whoop. Excellent. You guys are really helpful. Um, I'm going to reward your helpfulness by, you know, just kicking the shit out of you. Is that alright? Nice. You're dead? You're dead. Good. Anything over here? Oh, come on. What a, what a ruse. Never mind. Thank you, makeshift path, through the uh, slightly suspicious... Uh, ooh, hello. Go that way. Whoop. I will examine the Fallen Knight's corpse, thank you. Oh no, it's plot! Oh, that's not a gem. There is a mausoleum here in the bog that has lain undisturbed for many years. Cardinal Volp informs me that the legendary artisan, Rinaldo Gandolfi, constructed a powerful relic there during his Sion. Sion? Sion? Which will aid the one that wields the combat cross. That's me! I must admit, I am apprehensive. Many of my com comrades lie dead along the way, and I am wondering if this fool's errand will not be the end of me too. Well, hopefully not. Right. Okay, so we need to we need to do some timing here to not get gribbled on. So I guess we just wait and just not get too close. There we go, now we can move. Uh-oh, this looks a bit... Oh, okay, we, it's not instant kill. We can just tell them to knob off. Okay, well, that's nowhere near as bad. Gabriel doesn't put up with stuff like get drowned by evil creatures. I'm just gonna walk over this, yeah? Yeah, you can't stop me. I like that. He's just like, you, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something to you. Nah. Nah, I'm just gonna hit you with my combat cross, which also has one of the coolest names for a weapon I've ever heard. Gabriel, we're clearly being followed. I mean, you have cutscene powers. Why do you... Oh. Oh. Oh, is that a dead person? Oh, we can't go this way. Oh. That looks look like we can go. Oh, well. Oh, it has nasty gas. Right. Hello. What a... That was the worst ambush I've ever seen. You're normally supposed to wait until the person comes past. Oh, I accidentally whipped the bomb. That was, uh, that was on me. Howdy. Oh. Let me avoid that grenade like the, uh, well... I don't know what what plague has happened at this point in, in history. Yeah, I did see there's a path up there, but I'm kind of curious where this goes. At least a health fun. Ow, stop throwing grenades at me and make me whip them like a fool. I'm trying to look awesome. And for my trouble, I get my health back, which I wouldn't have needed if I didn't come down here to get grenaded. But it's the, you know, the, it's the thought that counts. So let's go back and go up the hill. Unless, of course, I miss something down there, in which case we'll walk back again and I'll make her some sort of solemn remark and feel slightly sour about it. Ah, uh, yes. Well, the door isn't going to open itself. Not quite literally. I mean, that'd be too convenient. But, thanks, oops. Years of, uh, years of disrepair and no one, uh, for some reason, living in these goblin-infested shithole means we can just climb over. Good lord. Oh no, there is... A green gribbler, as opposed to a skinny werewolf creature. How spooky. Luckily, the important bit is completely and utterly uh, not in disrespect. Forgive me, brother. But my need is far greater than yours. Huh, <laughs> fuck you, dead guy. I'm taking your shit. I paraphrase slightly. I mean, come on, this is pretty cool, right? Also magic, I guess, because, you know, that's, that's probably not how stone works. The combat cross has probably been upgraded. Sweet, I'll take that. The hook tip! This relic was built by the renowned artisan Rinaldo Gandolfi. The articulated metal tip can be used to grip objects and enemies from a distance, giving the combat cross the properties of a grappling hook. This also allows the wielder, I can't see, to climb, rappel, and swing across the environments when combined with the combat cross. Yay. 
Now we can use our combat cross to get these grip points. There is a grip point, I know. Thank you. Thank you, game. I, I see that. It's shiny and blue. I'm well aware of both these things. Whee! Smashy, smashy. Whoop! I mean, we could have just gone out the way we came, but, you know. That's a troll, right? Again, Gabriel has the power. Jump! Whoa. I mean, I don't think I should get hit by that. That seems bad. I mean, I mean, we can probably do the sort of defensey thing, but that seems like a bad plan, generally. He's defending. He's defending. Whoop. He's pissed. You know, for a horrible gribbler, you've got quite a bit of health. Let me come over here and throw daggers at you. Can I do that? Can I block him? Oh, oh dear, that looks bad. Again, look how strong Gabriel is, though. He's having none of that shit. Oh, yeah! Perfect timing on the block. I do like the quick time event where you can push any button, which means you can just have your hand comfortably just mind your own business. Although if you miss, presumably the- Oh! 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 Okay, the game lied to me. The game lied to me, but I was ready. You have killed a Gribbler. For your trouble, you may have this thing. But we will check the bestiary entry, because I've been reading them so far. If you hate this, by the way, do let me know. Swamp Trolls are a rare subspecies of the larger Cave Troll. Insert Lord of the Rings meme here, I'm not doing it. Although similar in appearance to their dry land cousins, the thick th has been replaced with a slimy coating, gross, similar to wet mold, double gross, which better suits the damper weather of their habitat. Swamp trolls are ferocious in battle and display a cunning that belies their outward appearance. Why does everything have a skull on it? Oh, I'll have this though. Well, that looked important. Okay, well, there's a grippy point for grippiness. But, however, are there dead people? This is also important. Seemed unlikely in an area about, you know, murdery things, but whatevs. Whee! Isn't this nice? Well, I mean, the environment's not the, you know, the murder. Uh, oh, this looks, this looks like the correct way. That's very unfortunate, because I want to go the opposite of that, obviously. And I'd wager that lovely building over there is probably where we need to go. Oh, there is a dead guy there as well. Perfect. I feel bad now, by the way, because the game's shown us this lovely little cutscene. I'm just going to walk backwards and check what was down the other path I didn't look at. The game's like, hey, where are you going? I showed you something cool, you suck. Oh, it's just a health font. Well, whatever. I also have a, a reasonable amount of XP from Punk and that troll. Right. Oop. Oh yeah, this game sometimes has like platforming bits, like this. It's as awkward as it looks. Yes, I understand how, how platforming works, thank you. I'm sure I will mess this up though. But I will then bitch. Ooh, move away now! I am moving, I am moving, thank you. But I want to get the... But I want to get the dead guy. I guess we just go back up and round. So we go up here. That's not what we want to do at all. We go up here. Man, you ain't no Lara Croft, that's for sure. Look! Goodies. A green one? Yeah! We don't need plot. Can we just climb up here? Or can we climb up here? I was kinda hoping we could, you know. Wow, be awkward about this endgame, that's fine. I'll go I'll go around the long way. Just gonna let go. Probably not got any fallen damage. Whee! Right, where were we after collecting my delicious greenness? There we go. Scoot, 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 scoot. Whee! Oop. Let's get a run up, shall we? Look here, it's Gabriel, the man with no fear. Woo!
He moves well quick enough during these jumpy sections that it's actually not that bad. Hooray! We got three out of four magic gems, which means I missed one on the other part of the swamp, didn't I? Oh, that makes me angry. <laughs> However, it's not that really that bad to go back. New combos available? Well, why didn't you say so? I have nothing here, though. Oh, we can do an air grab. Um, we can use that. Yeah, we can, yeah we're buying that. That's going to be fantastic. Thank you. And we can do a flying kick. Flying kicks are good. That's on the bigger things. We should totally buy that. And we can't buy anything else. That's fine. Pan's the stench temple. of the bog fades into memory, and a land of great beauty lies before him. A paradise where nature lives in harmony with all living creatures. Indeed, a refuge for those who wish it. He is close now. Close to the old gods and the old ways. Long forgotten by men, this kingdom was once revered by all. Yet now only a small part remains. Soon even this will disappear. The amulet senses its master. Its journey is almost over. He will need all his strength now, all his wits. If he is to succeed here, if he is to convince the old god to help him. I hope he's like, sub god, I need, I need shit because everything's gone bad. And he's like, oh, I totally feel you, don't worry. Here, have another couple of dozen magic horses. This amulet glows. Let me push this. A magic rune is revealed by the amulet. Can we reveal them all? Well, hopefully. This place is very pretty. Watch me miss everything. Keep an eye out for magical things. Mm. Can we climb up here? No. Oh dear. This looks important. They do somewhat glow, so at least if we're half paying attention, we shouldn't be too bad. Oh, this guy's dead. Do not give me plot. Oh, he gave me plot. Oh, you loser. The ravaged corpses of my brothers lie scattered everywhere. I feel guilty looting the bodies of my comrades, but I must but I must find more life gems or I'm lost too. Maybe you can buy some life gems for two ninety nine. Forgive me, my brothers. I won't last long unless I increase my chances of survival, and the dead have no use for such things anymore. I know that there is a life gem nearby. I can sense it. But I just need to rest for a moment. I feel so weak. Oh, that's sad. He dead though. But he fills a life gem nearby. Uh, no, somewhere. But more importantly, we need to find more, uh, no, thingies. Delicious pause. Uh, is there a thing? I can't see any. There's one. So we got. Th oh, I think I've missed one. I assume that means. Well, let's have a look around first, because, you know, why not? Well, there's a dead man here. Do you have a life gem, dead man? Is this the thing that they sensed? No, he has plot, jerk. My darling Martha, I fear that I am not going to make it back. Look after yourself and our beloved daughter. God forgive me for failing in my task. Know that you will always be in my heart and that one day we will be together again. Your loving husband, Victor. Oh, rip, Victor. Is there nothing over here? Damn. I feel like I'm being a baddie when it comes to finding these things. Well, anyway, let's head down the inevitable path and then run back and try and find things again. Oh, this looks funky. You cannot reach this Brotherhood arc. Come back later once your skills have improved. Rude. Well, here's another. I will take that, thank you. That's the last one, so I've missed the third one, haven't I? Well, oh no, there's one directly ahead of me. I guess that's the third one? Wow, the whole out of order thing is upsetting. No, it isn't. Oh wait, we actually have five things here. Oh, there's a, there's a naked fairy. I can see your boobies. Thank you, that's going to slay my YouTube. Right, uh, we need to put these in order or something, don't we? Shit, was I supposed to pay attention? Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, this... I see the things I picked up just tell me the order, I guess. So I can probably just work it out from what I've got then. Thank you, gratuitously naked fairy. Uh-huh, we got the uh, that one. Don't know what that one is, but we can probably work it out from the symbol that we're not going to be using. 
Uh, so we want a swirly thing. Excellent. And now I want a weird little thing. That's so great. So now we're just going to change this to the one thing we're missing. Good. Look at that. Whee! Thank you, small nudist. Appreciate that. Also, there was a life gem that I clearly missed, wasn't there? Still, the plot must go on. If I miss any life gems that are major, I might go back off the recording and go find them. Uh, and, keep, and keep going. Just keep the flow going a little bit if I get a little bit uh, delayed on my finding skills, which is fairly likely. How pretty. The music really is quite stunning. It's not traditionally Castlevania, but it's uh, the sweeping or orchestral score really does quite a nice thing. Ah, we've hit cutscene land, you see. Everything looks worse. Hello? Hello, God of Forest? Um, have you got any submachine guns to help me in my battle against the evil? That'd be quite handy. Show yourself. The Brotherhood needs your help. I need your help. Maybe he's having a bath or something. I know who you are, Gabriel. Oh, it's the horse. I am the guardian of the lake of oblivion, where the living can communicate with the dead. That's handy. Tell me, warrior. Are you aware of what is happening in the world? We have been deserted by God. Creatures from the void come to claim the souls of men, to wipe mankind from the face of the earth. And what of the elders of your order? What do they think? That God has not abandoned us. They believe that a powerful spell has been unleashed by someone or something. A spell that has isolated our world from the heavens, cutting us off from God and allowing evil to flourish unchecked. Why have the Brotherhood of Light sent you? to the lake of oblivion. They have dreamt that a message waits for me at this lake. A message that holds a clue to our salvation. I was instructed to seek you out in the hope that you may show me the path. The elders believe that these dreams are the last message from the heavens and that you should know something that we are unaware of. Is that it? Yes. My wife, Marie, was murdered not two days ago by the evil that roams these lands. Her soul and those of the recently departed are trapped here and cannot find peace. And that is why they sent you to the Lake of Oblivion, because they believe that she is waiting for you here to deliver a message to you. Yes. Will you help me? Only the most deserving of the living are worthy of speaking to the dead. Are you worthy, Gabriel? To find out if you're worthy, complete this small obnoxious puzzle. And with this slightly puzzly cliffhanger, we're going to be leaving this very first set here. So I want to say thank you so much for watching Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Please do let me know what you think. It's really important in this first set as well, in case I've missed anything, or you want to express some changes that need to be made for the Let's Play going ahead. And generally, if you just want to discuss it, because I love reading your comments. Next time, we'll be rejoining Gabriel as he solves puzzles, insults gods, and generally, like, eyeballs nudist fairies, because, you know, that's how we go in these kind of Castlevania games. Oh, of course, more whipping with our combat cross. And Patrick Stewart. Ooh, Patrick. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope to catch you all next time. Bye for now.